nothing like good coffee and the new vSAN 8 Express storage architecture. That's what we're here to discuss. vSAN 8 introduces a brand new Express storage architecture that is literally going to take the solution to the next level it's in terms of capabilities, features, uh, performance, and the list goes on and on. So what we're gonna do is deep dive into what we know currently about this new vSAN 8 Express storage architecture. The first thing we want to examine just at a very high logical level is why did VMware now with vSAN 8 decide to re-architect the solution to include this new vSAN Express storage architecture? What has changed? Well, if we look back at where hardware was, we think back to many years ago now in the year 2012, I know VMware, they have a really nice infographic that helps us to see exactly what we had then in 2012 as just a benchmark of a year compared to what we have today in 2022. And as we know then, I know if you looked at vSAN back in 2012 or 2014, in terms of where we were with storage hardware, spinning disks were very much still the mainstream preferred option for capacity. So when you looked at performance and capacity drives, flash drives were simply out of the ballpark in terms of uh, price uh, when it comes to uh, capacity. While we could use flash media for the cache tier, it didn't make a lot of sense in the enterprise to spend the X amount of dollars to procure extremely expensive flash storage for capacity drives. And in some cases, certain capacity needs, there just was not a solution uh, to that. But if you fast forward to today in 2022, realistically, we see that flash storage is the mainstream. In fact, uh, it's the preferred option, even in terms of cost. So spinning media is no longer that preferred uh, capacity solution when you look at uh, hard drive storage. In fact, we have ultra fast drives now, such as NVMe, uh, TLC flash, uh, QLC flash NVMe. The density of processors, memory, and the network bandwidth that we now have available to us is far beyond where we were in 2012. With that being said, VMware could take a step back and look at the current hardware technologies. How can we now utilize those hardware technologies in a hyper-converged solution such as vSAN uh, in ways that we couldn't do that in the year 2012. And that was a large portion of what they looked at in designing this vSAN Express storage architecture. Part of what we want to look at with this new vSAN Express storage architecture is what makes the new efficiencies, the new performance and capacity enhancements possible. Well, VMware makes note that there are two core technologies at work with the new vSAN Express storage architecture, and that is a new patented log structured file system, as well as an optimized log structure object manager and data structure. So VMware has actually added a new layer to the vSAN stack with this log structured file system. And this new file system is allowing vSAN 8 with the Express Storage architecture to ingest large amounts of writes very quickly and very efficiently and acknowledge those writes to virtual machines. And then it can very efficiently and effectively prepare the data for that full Stripe write operation. It also allows the metadata storage operations to be handled in a very effective and efficient manner. All of these enhancements lead up to one of the most significant departures from the original vSAN storage architecture compared to the new Express storage architecture in vSAN 8. And that is the fact that we are totally doing away with the idea of disk groups. So in original storage architecture with vSAN, we know that we have the concept of a disk group or a logical unit of storage that is comprised of two tiers of storage. You've got your cache tier uh, for accepting the writes very quickly, and then you have the capacity tier where uh, those writes are offloaded and actually stored in storage. Now, those the concept of that disk group 
relies on the older vSAN original storage architecture. When using the vSAN 8 Express storage architecture, the concept of disk groups has gone away. Now we have the concept of storage pools so that all of the devices can be added to a storage pool and then intelligently used for what we would have considered the caching and capacity tier operations as those happen within that storage pool. So much more effective, efficient, and simpler method for provisioning storage in the new vSAN 8 Express Storage architecture. VMware has also been able to take a look at where certain services exist in the storage stack. With the new efficiencies and capabilities of this log structured file system, VMware has taken a look at uh, services and activities in the storage stack, such as compression, encryption, and some of the checksum operations. In the original vSAN storage architecture, these activities lived much lower in the storage stack, leading to inefficiencies in how they operated. Now these exist very high in the vSAN storage stack, allowing for certain operations to much more efficiently happen a single time instead of multiple times across hosts. So in previous original vSAN architecture, uh, operations such as compression and encryption, when that data was replicated, those activities also had to be duplicated on those additional hosts in the vSAN cluster. Now with the new express storage architecture and the fact that those activities have been moved into a much higher level in the vSAN storage stack, it means that those operations only happen a single time. And you can imagine the uh, performance benefits, the efficiencies that we gain due to that, the capacity enhancements, as well as a much reduced burden on the network traffic between the vSAN hosts in that vSAN cluster. Computational uh, burden is also greatly minimized due to those activities and services simply not being needed on the additional hosts in the cluster. One of the extremely awesome new benefits of this ESA in vSAN 8 is the new introduction of a new adaptive RAID 5 erasure coding. Now VMware has introduced a new implementation of erasure coding in a vSAN 8 cluster with the ESA enabled that allows us to do a new 4 plus 1 RAID 5 placement uh, that spreads data with parity across five hosts, you can also use this in a three host cluster. Now, if you recall in previous original vSAN architecture, a three host vSAN cluster was only capable of RAID 1. Well, now we have the ability with three hosts to do a RAID 5 2 plus 1 scheme that uses 1.5x capacity for data resiliency across your vSAN storage. And here's one of the really amazing things about the new ESA or Express Storage Architecture in vSAN 8 is that it is now adaptive. So once hosts are taken out of the cluster for unexpected failures or maintenance operations, vSAN 8 can now automatically adjust the parity scheme to make sure that your data is protected in a resilient way. Then once hosts are brought back into the cluster, that parity scheme can then further be adjusted. It's one of the ways that the new vSAN 8 Express Storage architecture is helping to simplify operations and management of vSAN clusters. One of the announced features with vSAN 8 with the ESA storage architecture that I am extremely excited about and I know that caught the attention of many with this announcement is the introduction of native vSAN snapshots. As we all know, the original vSphere snapshot mechanism was never optimized or really architected and designed to work with vSAN. However, it works very well with today's technology. However, with vSAN 8 and the new log structured file system and the efficiencies and performance and capabilities that it brings to the table, VMware has now introduced native vSAN snapshots. And some of the highlights of this new native snapshot functionality found in vSAN 8 include supreme performance. 
It's consistent, it's fast, low stun times, it's highly scalable and efficient. And it also maintains, very importantly, it maintains the interoperability and functionality that third-party backup solutions have long used with the VADP and APIs that they leverage today. As you can imagine, it also brings improved performance for SRM, vSphere replication, and other technologies relying on snapshots. And also, VMware has mentioned that performance is as much as 100x performance improvement over the traditional vSphere snapshots that we use today with existing vSAN installations. Performance is said to be minimally affected by this new native vSAN snapshot capability. It's going to open up a whole new world of possibilities having these native snapshots within vSAN 8. Something we want to mention with vSAN 8 and the new express storage architecture is it's not an all or nothing approach with this new architecture. VMware has brought forward the original vSAN architecture along with the express storage architecture in vSAN 8. What does that mean? Well, it means if customers want to stick with the original storage architecture, they can certainly do that. And there are also enhancements that have been brought forward with the original vSAN storage architecture. However, if they want to take advantage of the latest and greatest features, capabilities, performance, capacity enhancements, they can certainly do that with vSAN 8 Express Storage Architecture. What does Express Storage Architecture require from a customer perspective and hardware perspective? Well, today, according to VMware, vSAN ESA requires vSAN ready nodes that have certified hardware that have been certified to work with this new Express Storage Architecture. Big box vendors such as Dell, HP, IBM, and others are going to be able to provide hardware as they do today in the form of vSAN ready nodes that will be certified to work with this new express storage architecture. Customers will want to certainly consider this as they're looking at hardware refresh cycles and uh, looking at their storage hardware solutions moving forward uh, to gear up for this new express storage architecture because this will represent uh, the best solution, simplest operational uh, capabilities uh, if customers are looking to purchase VMware vSAN uh, moving forward for their hardware refresh cycles. What do you guys think about vSAN 8 with the new express storage architecture? I think it's awesome and I can't wait to get my hands on it in the home lab and play around with many of the new features and capabilities. It's going to really move the vSAN solution forward in terms of capability, performance, and the use cases that it's going to allow customers to be able to solve. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Keep learning, keep the coffee hot, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you guys soon.